Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 55-0, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We uh, finished off Dalton, we got our revenge, we get our time machine back with wings now. So that opens up some opportunities. Because uh, uh, if you remember, we did, uh, we did a bunch of quests looking for sealed chests and hidden doors and that sort of thing. And now that we can fly freely throughout the skies at every age, we have some opportunities we didn't have before. But before we do that, we just found out from Magnus that, or Magus, keep wanting to put an end in there. There's no end in there. Magus, let us know that there might be a way to get Chrono back. We got to see the old man at the end of time. And as much as I don't want to put him at the lead, we can also take care of our little extra battle with Specchio. Um, so long as Magus is in the lead, because what level... Uh-oh. Uh What's that? That's not a complete answer. Uh-oh. Well, this can't be good. That looks an awful lot like the Ocean Palace. Curious music for the end of the thing. That does look an awful lot like the Ocean Palace. It's like it's calling us. Death's Ferry? Has it come for us? The Ocean Palace? But no. Uh-oh, look at that screen. It looks like something is happening. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, those are extra portals for a bonus that's in the DS and... Uh, Steam reissue version. So th those two portals that it just opened up are not a part of the original game. It is only in the Steam and Nintendo DS re uh, reissue and I think a couple of the others. But um, yes, we will go ahead and explore those even though it wasn't part of the original game, but it's here and we have it. So why not? Okay, a vortex has appeared, but why? Is Lavos's hand in this as well? What's happening to our world? All right. So, let's go to the end of time. Zoom. This is where I say 88 miles per hour in an old man voice. All right, <laughs> let's get out of here. All right, um, just for thoroughness sake, let's go ahead and hit point magic point restored. Let's go ahead and save, even though we just did that. And let's go ahead and see if we can beat him at this and get the bonus. Because again, he gives you a special set of stuff the first time you beat him at each different tier. So I thought we'd missed the extra capsules and whatnot that you get out of this, and let's see if we can make this happen. Hey, that spiky-haired fella hasn't been coming around lately. Wowza, you hauled in a marlin here, kids. He can use shadow magic. He could probably teach me a thing or two, but there's nothing I can teach him. What do you want? You looking for some practice? Yes, sir. All right. Let's do this. Lero. No, <laughs> kidding. All right. Ow. Oh. I thought I, I thought he arrived with more than that. Alright, I hate using the cure for double tech, but um, hit points are already kind of low, and two or three people could really use a big hit point infusion. So we might be doing a little bit of this kind of stuff. Alright. Yeah, you... Don't tase me, bro. <sighs> Come on, man. Alright. Uh, you know what? Let's try that, and let's get our double cure in there. 
Because again, hit points below. I hate leaning on Magnus for the attack now that I know that his techs are so low. I thought he had more. I will definitely have to level that up in the in the off time. Come on, man. Alright, we'll just whittle you out. Oh, wow. We'll just whittle you down as we go. Well, guys, come on. Keep the double cure up. Don't don't let him die. He's the only one doing actual damage. Let's make this happen. Alright, this is taking a little bit longer than I would have expected. Come on, keep him alive. Everybody walks away from this one. I still need more lightning based songs to hum while he does anybody does lightning magic. I mean you can only do Thunderstruck and uh ride the lightning but so many times. I didn't need to do the double here. Oh, yeah, maybe I did need to do the double heal. Okay, yeah, I did need to do the double heal. Come on, guys. Make with the keeping people alive. Bam. Man, he charges his attacks so quick, too. Yeah, I wish I hadn't forgotten that, uh... Oh, I probably should have timed that differently, too. I wish I hadn't forgotten that Magnus came in with, uh, so little magic. Ah, well. Short-term memory something or other, right? I should probably check the ice magic, see if that does more damage than 640 at a shot. One of these has got to do a little bit more than the others. I mean, the, ideally I'd have one person doing a group heal and the other two doing the attack. But uh, I don't think either one of them has a group heal that's enough to make it happen. Oh, doesn't matter. We whittled them down eventually. Oh me, oh my. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Guess you uh, ain't so bad after all. Here, this is for you. Spikio's healthy choice set. One magic capsule and five high ethers. I didn't care about the high ethers, it's the magic capsule that I wanted. What can I say? I'm the master of war. <laughs> nope. Not after all that. Yeah, that's right. Everybody's going to be all something about uh, Chrono not being around. Alright, let me restore people that are proper order. And let's go ahead and replenish the hit points and magic points. Let's go ahead and save, since we actually completed that. Oh, that's right. Uh, I forgot that um, his dialogue is a little bit different if you don't have Marley in the party when you talk. Oh, where's that sprightly young man? I see. How terrible. There's little I can do for you, but let me honor him with a song. I'll call it Memories of Chrono. The opening theme song, in case you missed it. Were there anything more I could do, I would, but I fear I can be of little aid. Only the Guru of Time can help us now. That face. Have I not seen you before? Ah, indeed. You've grown strong. Tainted of soul, to be sure, but formidable all the same. Hmm? The Guru of Time, you say? I know of him. But what business have you with the Guru of Time? We've heard he may know a way to restore life to our fallen friend. The truth of it I do not know. Ah, yes. To break death's hold over one you hold dearer still. 
You're not the first to wish such a thing, nor will you be the last. Chrono must be happy indeed, knowing such dear friends as you. Okay. Now let's get this back to, uh... Ah, yes, to break death's hold over one you hold dear still. Hey. I heard you the first time, old man. Here, take this with you. What is this? The egg of some beast? That is the chrono trigger. A time egg. Should you wish to try and hatch it, the one who crafted your wings of time can tell you the way. But know that it may not necessarily hatch the results which you desire. The Chrono Trigger represents potential. Results require action. As long as you keep Chrono in your heart and pursue what you seek, the results should follow. But I can make no guarantees. Limited warranty outside of California. No, sorry. I see it now. It's you, isn't it? Wait, then. Does that mean you're Gaspar, the guru of time? Ah... I haven't heard that name in a long time. Oh wait, no, he's not a Kenobi. Yes, I believe that this is what they used to call me, but that was long, long ago. Obtain Chrono Trigger. All right, yada, yada, yada. Okay. All right, then uh, let's board the Epoch. Fly in some style, let's take off. And let's head to the future. Now, by the by, you can also take the Epoch and go to 1999, ram that Joker into Lavos and kill him then. Uh, we're at a point where you could kill him at any point in time and get different results depending on when you kill him. Fair warning. All right, so let's go to the future and let's go find the other guru. Or the other other guru. Oh, and I almost forgot, you can also go to the Black Omen, and fun stuff happens there. Uh, oh, that's another place that we'll have to go in a little bit. we got to get Chrono back first. So, let's go to the Keeper's Dome. Open the door. A shame we can't land it back in the garage from whence we got it. Oh. Well, hello. Death Peak harbors a power capable of restoring the slain to life. But the power to reverse death is not one easily invoked. The need must be great and the person's existence of the utmost importance to the plot. That last part was implied. And what's more, you'll need a double, a doll identical to the person in every detail. Then, and only then, will the power design to hatch the egg. Without the doppel doll, there is no meaning in going to Death Peak. Go with the place you have left it. Go, go to the place you have left it and retrieve it with all haste. So, remember, way back in episode, like, one or two, somewhere around there, where we spent some time at the fair to get uh, Bexler to do his clone for some reason. This was that some reason. So when we got to the end of all things... Oh, that's the wrong button. Alright, so let's go to the present. Boom! Huh. Funny how the land has changed. There's other stuff that we'll want to do eventually, but uh, that's not right now. We want to go to Chrono's house. Oh, hello. Is Chrono all right? He's... he's great. Better than great. Well, I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. You tell him I said to behave himself, all right? Listen, um... Yes? 
We're just going to borrow this doll, all right? Don't ask questions. Go right ahead, dear. Never mind. I'm trying to keep the family friendly or anything. Obtain the doppel doll. You stay out of trouble now. Hi, kitty. You're a kitty, kitty, kitty. All right. And now, oh, wrong button again. Let's go back to the future. No DeLorean necessary. Huh. So that's about where my house would be in the future. Interesting. All right, now let's go back to Balthazar, see if he's got anything new to tell us. Be close. Death Peak harbors a power capable of restoring the slain to life. But the power to reverse death is not one easily invoked. Uh, yep, yep. Um, yes, that will do quite well. It seems the time has come for you to attempt Death Peak. It is the only chance you have of reviving your friend. I've implanted one final program. Truly, I mean it this time. In this construct's memory banks, it will help guide you up the mountain. Please stand back. Executing program. The teddy bear protocol? The lollipop guild? Alright. The three entities you just saw will aid you on Death Peak. This ends my message. Now I must ask you for a favor. This construct has reached the end of his final program. Please let him rest. The switch is on his stomach. Switch the construct off. Yes. Time no longer appears to flow for this construct. Oh. That's kind of sad, too. All right. Um... We're already 17 minutes in, so I think I will save Death Peak for the next episode. Instead, I'm going to go to the end of time real quick, and we're going to go talk to everybody to see what they say about Chrono's death. Um, just to see if we can get some different uh, different messages, because we've already seen Specchio has something different. I mean, he was always a pain, but now that he's gone, don't. Don't go getting crazy ideas now. I just thought of him like like a brother. Don't you need my brain power? Not yet. Oh. Chrono's absence seems to adversely affect everyone's mood. Maybe of assistance? I shall await your next instruction then. Chrono strong. Chrono no die. No true. Fine Chrono. Alright. Let's uh, swap the party out real quick so we got three more people to talk to. Oh, he's going to hang out over here on the bridge. That boy's existence is of no consequence. My attention is focused elsewhere. Are my powers required? Not yet. Hm. The weak comfort themselves with delusions of their own grandeur. Beat your scrawny butt. That fool. No man so young should have to die. You've returned. Have you need for my sword? Not yet. <laughs> the unused blade goes to rust, you know. Let's go. Let's go get Chrono. Take me with you? Yeah, alright. Let's get the original party back together. And I'll probably spend some time running around trying to get all the techs and whatnot together. But we've talked to everybody. We've seen what they have to say. So let us save. 
and run over the credits and say thank you for joining along so far if <laughs> if you're watching live on twitch or mixer this was the last episode so i will see you next week if you want to watch live i stream on thursdays 6 p.m us eastern there's links in the description below if you haven't already follow in twitch or mixer to get notified when i go live definitely twitch uh mixer is gonna be a maybe because again as i mentioned for the last six episodes now or the last five this makes six um I'm contemplating not actively using Mixer. I will keep the Mixer account. I will definitely use it as a backup in case something happens to my Twitch account. Uh, but I am considering uh, streaming exclusively on Twitch instead of doing the multicasting that I've been doing. Uh, it, it's more hassle for the return that I'm getting at the moment. So... That might change, that might not. I might continue down the path I've been going. Just uh, I will let you know uh, within the next week. So by the time I go live streaming next Thursday, I'll let you know. Which means, no matter what, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. Like an answer to what's going to happen with streaming. Whether it's exclusively Twitch or still going to multi-stream Twitch and Mixer. And uh, so with all that... Uh, those of you that like to watch live, I will see you next week. And YouTube folks, by the time this goes up, I'll see you tomorrow on the live stream. <laughs>